As time ticks by, be prepared for offensive language from the start and throughout, and adult chat. Previously, Ashleen and Danny hated Mark. You I swore on my mother's grave I won't lie. Shut up. You shut up, man. Mark. man. But we're full of love <laughs> for each other. So you are attracted to Ashley? Yes, yeah, she's very hot. Tonight, nominations put the house on a knife edge. We have clashed many times. She winds me up all the time, she doesn't listen. I have to get really annoyed at him and shout at him. Harry, stop. It's just bloody annoying. I feel like pulling out of my own eyeballs. I'm really struggling, Danny. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. It may be perceived as a little bit two-faced. I'm just expected to part with being mugged off 24-7. There's a lot of game players in this house. I'll stand apart. Nick literally is, like, panicking now. I trust no one, though. Have a drink. Take the edge off. It's easy. Vodka, Don't down it, guys. He keeps playing the victim. Ashley, you must also nominate. Oh, my God, I swear to God, I never knew nothing. It's just carnage, isn't it? It's just nothing but carnage. Oh, no. It's a popularity contest, and they're all falling apart now, aren't they? Day 48, 931 AM. It's nominations day, and housemates are getting ready for the day. Thank you very much, Harry. Danny has a confession for Chloe. Ashley just stayed in my bed last night. What? She stayed in my bed last night. <gasps> Are you? She got up. What, in the middle of the night? Have we got in your bed? No, she stayed in there anyway, but in car park, left in the middle of the night. No way. Do you, I love your bed and you have my bed. No, I have it, no. I'm not bothered. Anyway. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to do it all the time. We doing a workout? Uh, yeah. Maybe you're best not doing that every night now. Huh? Maybe you're best not doing that every day. No, that's not me. I didn't want to do it last night. Hello. What are you talking about? Oh, seven, six in the house. Again. <laughs> Mark and Ashleen are grilling Nick on his relationship with Harry. Who wears the trousers? You're her. Don't well, she don't wear many trousers. <laughs> don't wear much she clothes at all. God knows. I don't really read into it too much. Mm. I had another little row yesterday. They're always rowing. You, yeah. need to, you need to find your voice a bit more. Mm. You do. But if you start arguing with someone like Harry, it just yeah. gets 20 times worse, and you know that. So what you've got to do is lie down and take it like a man. Just literally <laughs> lie, lie yeah. down and take it like yeah. a man. Like, literally <laughs> lie down and take it. Honestly, Ashley, I, I know I should have a voice, and there are times <laughs> I'm just going to go shut up. But with her, if you were to say that, that is game over. You've got, like, eight days' worth of graft up ahead, and you don't need... <laughs> do you know what I mean? You better have not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's laid claim, hasn't she? Yeah, that's good. Oh. I'm happy about that. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's made me happy, I think. Because <laughs> I weren't sure. What about you and Danny? Have you kissed yet? No. Mm. no I've camera. kissed everyone else. There are cameras <laughs> in this house. I honestly thought you guys had kissed. I'm no. Sorry. That's what her heart as well. Yeah. No. I'm oh. celibate. Yeah, celibate, celibate. Mean, doesn't mean you can't kiss. <laughs> yeah, but kissing leads to... You broke the celibacy last night if you can't kiss, because you kissed Sam. That don't count. That doesn't <laughs> count. Did you kiss Danny? No. No. Why would I kiss my friend? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> we have great banter. Why am I going to kiss my... It's weird, isn't it, if you do that? Oh, shut up, Mark. <laughs> Were you, there? Were you there for banter game? Oh, oh, women, Jack I said. I love how women say that. Why would I kiss my friend? Eh. Oh, whatever. Can't cope. Ten forty-five a.m. Later today, Nick must give his nominations face to face. He's practicing in the bathroom. No. 
God. Um, this was makes it a little more difficult, but some of the fact it may be not losing it, that's absolutely fine. Just that you may be potentially saying comments. Ashleen is talking about her autobiography. Read my book, darling. Read my autobiography. <laughs> what was it called, your last one? <laughs> was it called Queen of Banter? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was, was it? it called? No, cos you're just gonna... people took that. It's five years ago, so who cares? It's called Surviving Guns, Gangs and Glamour. Oh, I knew that! <laughs> Jack's like looking at me like, what? Don't understand. <laughs> what would your book be about, Jack? I said I'd call it Me, Myself and Pie. That's what I said. Oh, oh yes! So I'd probably call it. Nice and one. what would it be about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny shit. It's be funny. Would you would you Just put piss around with stories? What would yours then? be, Danny? What would it be called? Yeah. Banta. Banta. <laughs> <laughs> what would yours be called? My own. My book would be uh, Living on Earth. Oh, yeah. Get it. Making it out to be not, I'm not really from here. Ah! I've never ever thought about it. Think about it now, then. Statement mm. that makes you you. I almost Boring. made it. I Boring. almost made it. <laughs> it <would laughs> on the fence. On the fence. On the fence, yeah. On the fence. On the fence. On the fence. My life on the fence. Perfect. L living life on the bench. Boring <laughs> and, yeah, or on the fence. I think on the bench. On the bench. <laughs> Left back. <laughs> Left back. <laughs> Coming up, nomination revelations. He seems to fly off the handle, does a lot of banging doors and stomping around. I have to get really annoyed at him and shout at him for him to listen to what I'm trying to say. He's just bloody annoying. I feel like pulling out of my own eyeballs. And Harry and Nick lose the love. Flairist always use me for laugh, isn't it? Flairist always use me to mug me off when I'm sat right there, isn't it? Twelve fifty nine PM Christian and Danny have nominations on their minds. I'm really struggling, Danny. Hello? I'm struggling, Danny. <laughs> Jack has been called to the diary room to make his nominations. Hello, Jack. Hello, big brother. Could you give the name of your first nomination? Uh, my first nomination is Mark. I just feel like uh, he adds a level of um, discomfort um, to the house. He's trying to maybe manipulate people and then I don't feel comfortable around him. That's the reasons why he affects me in the house, is that I don't necessarily feel comfortable when I'm with him in a room. Uh, my second nomination is Sam. She doesn't think about others, like in a situation where I was sat down on the sofa with a bit of chocolate next to me. See, people think that things like this a little bit. I, I, I'm kind of eating that. She'll just come up, pick it, eat it. I'll sort of that mine and she'll eat it anyway. I just feel she's a, she's a very nice person, but I don't think she really cares about others. And also, she'll come to us when Mark's spoken to a band and she's like, oh, I'm done with them, I'm done with them. And she'll want me to sympathise and give her advice. And then, like, Ten minutes later, she'll be back on his shoulder again. I think, like, well, you know what? If you're kind of using me like that, I'm not. I'm not comfortable with that. So those are the reasons why I'm nominating Sam. My first nomination is Sam. My reasons for nominating Sam are because I don't know where I stand with her, and she does not show a lot of loyalty. Um, she quite often goes between myself and other members of the group that maybe I don't get along with so much. She'll be very friendly with, say, for instance, Mark, who I have my differences with Mark, and then she will, after being very friendly with Mark and talking negatively about me to Mark, she will then come over to me and talk negatively about Mark to me, and that, to me, is makes me very uncomfortable. My second nomination will be Jack. 
Jack, I feel, has been very, very grumpy and sometimes quite short with me. Sometimes I have to get really annoyed at him and shout at him for him to listen to what I'm trying to say, which I feel sometimes makes me look like the big bad wolf in the scenario. I have had words with Jack about not listening to me occasionally and he doesn't seem to often take it on board. Uh, my fourth nomination is Danny. He's playing the the game of the nice guy card. Like He hasn't apologised for twice picking fights with me and him being in the wrong. Even though I let it go, I let it go. It would have been nice to kind of go, look, mate, I know I was wrong. It did really piss me off how he turned on me. Very, very easily. When he saw someone that was popular on the outside come in, he turned. And then the other night, me and Nick were having an argument and he tried to upset the whole house for the house to turn on me, and even though he was completely in the wrong. My second nomination is going to be Christian. One, because he is the master puppeteer's left-hand man. Um, pretty much, if Danny sh took a shit on the floor cr and told Christian it was a present for him, Christian would literally eat it. Christian is the first man in line to literally agree whatever Danny says, and after surviving two evictions, uh, he, he now thinks that He's, he's back to, you know, he doesn't have to voice his opinion anymore, he doesn't have to show any individuality, and it's basically it's just literally, you know, he, he just does what Danny says. It's like a little doggy, to be honest. My first nomination is for Mark, which is no surprise. He knows how to push my buttons and makes me angry. I feel like when he's had a drink and that, he, he looks for he kind of looks for an, uh, an argument. There are people in his house that I do care about, and I feel like I have to step in and try and protect them sometimes because they they, haven't, they don't really know how to stand up to Mark. Uh, my second nomination goes for Sam. Um, a lot of her, you know, her quotes that she says, you know, about hashtag bloody loving life, and she says, "Hey you and your ways," and. It's been brought up so many times that it's very annoying. I mean, I'm not going to tell her to stop it because that's who she is and that, but it is just bloody annoying. I feel like pulling out of my own eyeballs. That's how bad it is. Three thirty-nine p.m. Harry's talking to Nick about her nominations. I think definitely people are going to take it to heart with me because I had to go on how I feel and not what people wanted me to do. There are people in here who maybe want to go home more than others. Is that what you did? No, 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 I'm not... Shop. Don't ask me what that's what I did. Don't yeah. ask me, don't ask me any questions because yeah. you'll get in trouble. The people in here who want to go home more than other people, there are people in here who stated that they'll be overjoyed if they made it to the final, yeah? I'm not going to nominate people based Stop on talking about it, you're going to get no, yourself not, in trouble. I'm not talking about it. I'm not, stop I'm now. A, stop, Harry. But, <laughs> no, don't. Babe, I, I don't sorry. want now. you to get in trouble. Now, Harry, this is my fault. Harry, look at me. This is my fault. Harry. Oh, no, because if you don't get in trouble, darling, stop. it could no, be Nick. something really it's bad. Nick. Literally, it's like panicking now. Oh, she's okay. nominating me. She's nominating me. <laughs> I'm not going to get Just you. Just be careful, darling. Just be careful. Yeah, I am being careful, but the more people, like, Joel's interrupting me. And I can't spit my words out, right? I'm not panicking. Yeah, you are panicking. So... I'm laugh if she nominated you. Well, I, as I said I, I earlier... I would really be laughing, like, proper laugh. Oh, my God, nobody's actually even listened to a word I've got No, we're not, say, because you usual. can't talk about nominations. OK, right, OK, don't worry, I'll shut up now. No, don't sorry. Don't worry, I won't no. say what I've got to say. Jack and Chloe are also talking about nominations. I th I see, the thing is, I, I, I anticipate getting at least two. I think that might be enough to put me up, Chloe. Two? Yeah. I see one for you, but not two. You know what? Getting a shit reaction was probably the best thing ever for me. Kick up the ass. It, it, it's a kick up the ass. It's just that if I go to that, I go to that. You can kind of, once you've had it, I think once you've had it, you, you, you understand it then. Like, yeah. you're, not, you're never in fear of it. It was just difficult when, when I come into, like, a really good reaction, and then you get that, you think, fuck, I've done something to piss people off. To clarify, as housemates, you're free at any time to talk to each other about how you feel about your other housemates, what you like and don't like about them, but not as a part of a discussion about nominations. So none of which of anything I've said is about breaking the rules, because all I have is that the only thing I've said about nominations the is about stating Mark the rules. Is, right, the thing about Mark is... Hmm? Never mind. I did that on purpose. 
Well, why would you deliberately try to piss someone off? Don't really understand it. Well, you know full well I can't fucking say what I want to say anyways in this fucking house. Nick, you're always in trouble, mate. Why are you always in trouble? Nick. Why has she just gone off in the shop? What happened? That was my fault. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Nick did something again. No, I was just having a joke nasty. by interrupting her. And now she's I know, like, I know. Nasty Nick. For 11 p.m., Mark is feeling mischievous. Ah! Run! All this play fighting he's given you, knowing that you probably have some power later on. Uh. <laughs> it's all very light-hearted. It's a pattern when new people walk in. Really? You can so tell that you, you handle your tether with him. It's not standard bloke. Really? Fucking dickhead. Really? Yeah. Why? Are you fucking serious? Joel has been called to the diary room. Hello, Joel. Hello, big brother. Could you give the name of your first nomination? The first housemate I wish to nominate is Sam. Sam has become a person who she doesn't want to become in this house. The old Sam would sit on the fence, and I don't like that. I prefer people who are decisive. But now the new sort of Sam almost is decisive sometimes, then quite unpredictable. And that's not a person who I I appreciate. And it's it's somebody who I would rather be totally honest with me all of the time or just not at all. My second nomination, therefore, with regret, is Harry. I feel, in some ways, Harry can be quite controversial. I think it's it's good when you're in a house and you're in the Big Brother house to make the most of your experience. And I think I have not spent as much time with Nick, um, who I'm very close to in this house, potentially, and Harry as well, because I like Harry also, um, because of uh, the, the, their friendship and their close friendship, and that is absolutely fine, but not sort of 24-7. I, I can find that quite awkward um, because I get on very well with Nick. My first nomination is for Mark. He is the person I seem to get on least with in the house. Um, we have clashed many times and he's the only person left that I've ever clashed with. Any arguments that seem to go down in the house are, involve Mark in one way or another. My second nomination is unfortunately going to be Harry. She seems to fly off the handle, does a lot of banging doors and stomping around, and it can make for an awkward atmosphere in the house, you know, when she barges out or into a room and everyone's like, what's wrong with Harry? So I just feel like she gets herself really et up about things and it can make for a tense and awkward atmosphere in the house when really she should just chill out a little bit more. Um, my first nomination is Harry. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells with her. Uh, I know she's very short-tempered and she will just take it out on the first person she sees almost. And I just feel bad for Nick sometimes. My second nomination is, really sorry, Jack. But sometimes he takes things a little bit too seriously and he gets his knickers in a twist a little bit too much. And that energy would be quite stressful and uh, a little bit grumpy almost. But yeah, I'm just like, oh, just relax a little bit because, you know, we are here to have a good time as well and not follow all the rules because that would be quite boring. Um, my first nomination is going to be Mark. He keeps making it his business to keep going around telling people that he does not want to be here which is completely unfair, bearing in mind there's people here which really want to be in the position that they're in. The second thing is the fact that he goes around and he's starting a fucking argument. And then off that, he keeps playing the victim. And I'm not falling for it. I don't think anybody's falling for it. My second nomination is, it's gonna be Harry. She really does make it her job to get involved in situations and I know she has people's best interest in a way. However, I think the way that she goes about doing some things turns quite tense because she does overreact. She does get quite mardy is the word that she uses. 
and aggressive. So far, Sam, Harry and Mark have four nominations. Jack has two and Danny and Christian have one. Nick will make his face-to-face -face nominations later today. Five twenty-three p.m. Danny and Ashleen are getting cosy. You gonna sleep? No, just praying. <laughs> Do you actually pray? Yeah. Like every night? No, not every night. Just when I want something, usually. No, I don't. You pray. <gasps> 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 Nick wants to clear the air with Harry. I, I was wrong, Harry. I shouldn't have interrupted you like that. And no, and on a serious note, I shouldn't have interrupted you like that. It was just a bit of a joke, it was a bit of a laugh. Uh, I was being in an irritating mood, I was acting like a kid. Flairist always use me for laugh, isn't it? Flairist always use me to mug me off when I'm sat right there, isn't it? Harry, I'm sorry. It's funny. No, it's not funny, I Harry. Think it's it's not. Think it's funny. Obviously, it's all my fault as per usual. It's not all your fault, Harry. It's mine. I'm just expected to put up with being mugged off 24 7. It's fine. I know where I stand. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Okay. I was acting immaturely. That's the end statement of the century, but like I said, it's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. Don't Was it about. the fact I kept interrupting you? No, it's about the fact that I continue to get mugged off by Nick. How do you think I feel right now? Using me as the butt of your joke. Because that's the type of person you are, then it's fine. No worries. Can we not just move on from that? I moved on when I got up and walked away. Yeah. OK, so we're going to hug and make it up? Wrong. We're going to make it up, or...? I said it's fine, isn't so it? going to have a hug? Whatever. OK. Don't be frosty. I'm not being frosty. Oh, right. OK. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Just, Nick, I've said it's fine. Yeah. Don't annoy me further by continuously banging on about it. Said it's fine, we've had a hug, just go get on with your day. Do you want a tea? Yes, please. Mm, that chair. Coming up, surprise for Ashley. <laughs> Oh my god, I swear to god I never knew nothing was gonna like this. Is what... It's fine, I see. It's got to be done. And Nick and Harry are at it again. I'm not to... having a go at you, I'm trying to have a discussion with you, but yeah, no, obviously I was just being totally don't honest there, Harry, that's if I'm being honest. Like... Alright, well, let's just leave it, it's gone. Okay. Six or one p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. This is Big Brother. So we're trying to scare us. Nick, stand up. Oh, it's just unbearable. This actually. Nick, as you know, you must give your nominations face to face. Yeah. Nick, you must now give the name of your first nomination and your reason for this nomination. This is my first nomination, and it comes down to not an event that's happened, it comes down to to do with Brian, OK? And it's Mark. When Brian tried to get away from you, I felt like you antagonised him on purpose when you felt... And I think this was a two-way street with you and Brian. And I feel like, in regards to the situation, Brian did do stuff to wind you up, and you did do stuff to wind him up. I felt like, on occasions, you did more to wind him up, i.e. splashing him when he tried to get his way, and I think, to an extent, you made Brian feel a little bit uncomfortable in a house that he has made his own and that he was a legend in. Um, and I think, for me, that was a reason that I wanted to nominate you personally. That's the main reason about why. I think you made his time in here a little bit horrible. 
and I understand that he did stuff to you, and I know that. But for me, I felt like it was more you antagonizing him. Don't mind being nominated. It's, just... it's not a cop out. No, I, no, I don't. I honestly yeah. don't mind being nominated, guys. I swear to God, I really don't mind it. Yeah. It's the fact is that name one thing I did other than splash on that one day. Oh, but this isn't fair. This isn't fair to do this. If you want to talk to him after. No, no, it's, it's, it, it, it is. Now it's not the time. Like, no, guys, guys, guys. Guys, stop, stop. I understand, I understand. You know, just let me hear Han. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. I'm not going to sit here and make people make up shit about me. But nobody else gets a chance after, March. Do it after. It's yeah. a, it's, I, I don't I don't accept it, but I, I will accept it. I don't mind being nominated, but I understand. for that reason, well, I don't agree. Well, then you can have a private conversation. No, there's no point, no it. point. My second nomination is Sam. You sit on the fence, and that's perfect, and it's a really admirable quality, and you are a people pleaser, like myself, and I. this is why it was even more difficult to say this. Um, sometimes, when you're people pleasing in a situation where there might be an argument, it may be perceived as a little bit two-faced. That just stood out for my second nomination this week. That's all right. Uh, don't worry, darling. Yeah, that's look that's just what stood out for me. Nick, sit down. Okay, I've done it. I would really like when people yeah. start saying shit in this house. Stop, literally, and it pisses me off so much. We all take each other's excuses. I have never went near Brian. He went three times. He lied about me that I know of. Out of the money, and when I out of the money, he lost the head. Once I splashed him. That's the only time I ever came near him. The reason why he didn't like me was the same kind of reason that other new housemates would come in is because it looked as though I was on Helen's side. I just agreed with Helen or I got along with her. And Brian actually asked himself, you attack, attack, attack That one time I splashed him. And you agreed to it? With that one time I splashed Didn't him. That was say, I don't, splash I just, no, I splashed him. For fuck's sake. I splashed him. Let me talk, man. But you said you, you said to us that you don't, you just splash him. So you should have said that to Brian. But, but, it, but he did say We was like this and you said, yeah, I do. So that means we were going to think you antagonised him. But I splashed him, that was it. That's what you should have said to him. I might have splashed you, do you know what I mean? Ashley, stand up. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, I swear to God, I never knew nothing was yeah, going to like this. Fine. Is what... It's fine, Ashley, it's got to be done. Ashley. Yes? You must also nominate. Oh. And right. you will give your nominations face to face. Oh. Okay, so my first nomination is Mark. Um, for the same reasons as you mentioned, Nick, I feel that a very close friend of mine, who I know is a gentle giant, and I feel that he scaled a wall to get out of here because he felt pressure from two particular housemates and one was you. So I'm nominating Mark for that reason. My second nomination is Sam. I do like you, Sam, um, but you went in really hard on Nikki, and I know her criticism to you was that you haven't got your own voice or you, or you sit on the fence or whatever it was, sit on the fence or something like that, but I felt like you went a little bit too hard on Nikki, and it hurt my feelings to see Nikki so upset because she believed that you two had made a connection and friendship. Ashleen, sit down. <laughs> nominations are now over. Big Brother will reveal the results of this week's nominations in due course. Can I hug? Can you give me a hug? No. Oh, I hate talking in front of people. It's the worst thing to do ever. I feel so embarrassed. Oh my god. Can you oh make a cuddle? God. I'm so you sorry. You know I didn't want to. No, don't apologize. Oh, I, just, I was sick of being told I have no opinion and I just tried something new. Sassy Sam. I don't like her. You've not seen her since, do you know what I mean? She just had to come out for like five five seconds. But if I to had to choose people, someone. I know, that's totally fine. For, for me, with Brian, obviously I've been watching him. I've got his bias towards him. I, lo I love the guy watching him, I know him really well. And seeing that uncomfortable in the house, obviously yeah. hearing that's because it was you making him feel uncomfortable along with Helen. I, I did feel uncomfortable with him. But what I will say is, remembering out of all of these people, there's not a lot that stands out to me as well. Yeah, no, okay. fine. Do you know, mate, what, do you know mate, what I mean? Mate, I it wasn't a cop mate, Yeah, but listen to me, listen to me. I don't mind being nominated, mate. I really do. Don't. I mean, you can say, yeah. but I know the shit out of you. Just, I'm begging you, don't not lie or do not do not say stuff just because trying to... Yeah, exactly. Did you, did you feel like that was a lie, what I'd said? Yeah. What did I, what did I lie about? 
the fact that I intimidate him, he intimidated me, mate. I'm the Did stronger. I say I'm, well, no, basically, I, I am, uh, was it, antagonised him. He antagonised me constantly, saying I was a lawyer. He wanted to be as far away from me as possible. No, no, but then why he kept lying about me? That someone who lies with someone and tells everybody in a group, you did this, you did this, you did this, and tried to out me three, four times. I defended myself the same way Helen did. For me, Sometimes, for me, you standing up and saying that reason, and then playing that reason on the show, for me, it's the fact that That's Mark's stuck in here and unable to defend himself to the public who will exactly. be voting for exactly. him, whereas Brian is more than able to defend himself or fan the flames on the outside. And I'm not having to go at you, and yeah. I'm not going to. Exactly so how I feel. But I'm just saying, for me, that's the reason I wanted to nominate you this week. Yeah. And that's, 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 that's a personal up. reason hey, to me. Yeah. I just wish you chose a different reason. But this one is getting on my fucking nerves. Oh, Why I don't you just take it on the chin? Just leave it. That's, that, it just winds up on it. How are you sitting there saying, oh, there's a shit reason, Nick? I really didn't know how I feel. I'm trying to She's fucking hard work. Harry, I think he's very good at explaining himself. Yeah, I know that, but yeah, you've done so well. Come in. That's what I'm trying to say about him down. having a go at him. I know how much yeah, but, you struggle with Oh, my God. Yeah, know, yeah but Harry, well I done. thought his reasons were right. So huh? what? I appreciate that that's his reasons and standing up, but then I didn't want Mark's going on him. You wouldn't, they were just talking. Don't think that was me sticking up for Mark, because that was not. That was my point of the fact that it's not a personal reason. I felt like you made it worse for him. Maybe I did, but it's something, I'm going to say something that I feel passionate yeah, he, about. He's he said it, he's got to stick by it. There's no point saying, oh, it was a shit reason. I didn't say it was a shit reason, I said it was a very, very valid reason and that he sh should say that, if that's what he thinks. But the fact of the matter is, although as much as I do detest Mark, I don't believe that someone on the outside should be able to defend themselves and Mark can't defend themselves in here. Then you might wholly disagree with that, yeah? It's just like, if we, if yeah, me and you... What well, if Nick disagrees with that? That's fine, Nick can disagree with Matt and so I... So everyone has their own opinions? Yeah, exactly. I'm sure we've all could have sat down there and it's said, so, said our own piece. As well as Nick's entitled to his, yeah? yeah. But it's just like sometimes, I just... It's hard. It's, hard. it's, it's so hard. yeah, it's so hard. But that's what I'm saying. Like, don't fan the flames of a, a personal issue. But Harry, funny. that's how I felt this week. So that's personal. Yeah, I know. And that's did I or did I not say to you? If that's how you feel, then that's what you should say. Yeah. I was just I'm being not having a go at you. I'm trying to have a discussion with you. But yeah, I know. I was just being totally honest offended. there, Harry. That's if I'm being honest. Yeah. Well, be I honest. I don't want to fine. nominate Mark. I, I like the guy. All right. Well, let's just leave it. It's gone. Okay. Seven thirty two PM Mark is alone in the garden. <sighs> Nominations are the talk of the bedroom. Should I go and apologise to Mark? No. Sure? I no, will be apologising. I, I will be apologising to anyone who I've nominated. Okay. No, no, no. Anyone, okay. Everyone gets it. Mark takes on the shim almost. I feel like I feel like he's Mark, not taking. Mark the is one of the best people to nominate yeah. if that makes sense because he he doesn't he understands as long as you give him a valid reason. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I should apologise, but I don't want to apologise because I know my reasons are valid. Well, exactly. So yeah, don't. So, so don't. But I don't want him to feel like that. So I suppose I'm apologising for being part of the reason that he feels no, like Mark that. Won't be awkward. Like, Jesus, Mark's nominated me for all four reasons, and do you know what I mean? And what upsets me the most is the fact that, like I said with the whole Mark thing, when Mark got evicted, I thought he's gonna, he's gonna slag me off, and then I'm gonna be out next week, and Mark can't defend himself in here. <laughs> all right, I don't know what You're going in the back with me? Mm -hmm. I'm not on the back. I'm not angry. I'm not no, I will. I, like, as I just said to Joel, like I'm really sorry for getting involved because that wasn't my. Argument. No, I do that to you. I know I do that to you. That's why it's fine. I, I said that there. You have an opinion. The other side person will say it, and I appreciate. it. So don't worry. Yeah, but it was not my place. To I was get just involved. stressed. That's why I snapped. I know. Yeah. No, you don't. You have every right to snap at me because it was not my place to get involved at all, and I shouldn't have said mm -hmm. what I said then. I should have 
had it out with you later. I don't worry about it. Honestly, well, don't worry about it. I was just stressed, that's why I was not. snapping. I'm apologising to you because it's the right thing to do. Let's just leave. Come and talk to me in the back. <laughs> okay. Coming up, Jack's drunken despair. Big Brother is a game. I've, I've balls it up. Seven fifty-three p.m. Housemates have been gathered on the sofas for the results of this week's nominations. Jack, can you say, oh, can oh, you say it again, Joel? This is Big Brother. The housemates facing eviction this week are Harry and Mark. And Sam. And <gasps> no. Jack. These four housemates will face the public vote. It's okay. I think there's some kind of twist. <laughs> twist. Yeah. 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 Oh. Why is everyone hung at me? I'm not off. Thanks, thanks. No, totally thanks. <laughs> I really, really, awesome. I really don't like to count. Oh, thanks, babes. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gone for Wednesday, and then I'm happy. And that's honestly, guys, I'm it's all done now. I actually do. I'm happy. Like you know, what I mean? so. Back to me, back. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? I'm fine. I trust no one now. Jack, don't get bitter about it. Believe I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. I care. That's why. I'm all right. I'm all right. Have a drink. No, I'm fine, mate. I'm Have fine. Have a drink. Ch ch it mate, takes the edge off. It's easy. Have one. Fuck it. You alright? Fuck, have a drink. Yes, What man. drink? What drink? Vodka. Vodka, Don't down it, though. No, no I won't. Take it easy. That's so fine. It takes the, edge off, it takes the edge off of me. Takes the edge, you know what I mean? Don't down it. No, I'm not. Get a glass. It's easier if we get a glass. No, no, I'll drink out of this. I'm good. I'm good. You know, it's like that. He takes up. He takes up. Easy. Yeah, I'm not going to We're not allowed to talk about nominations, mate, but I just say, just be careful, all right? I said something to you in the garden the last day and I meant it. Yeah, right? yeah, no, it's fine. That's I'm all fine. I'm saying to you. I'm fine. Would you want five? Pardon? Do no, no, five? no, honestly, no, I'm good. I'm good. You're coming back out then? Yeah, of course, yeah. Just chill out for a minute. Don't down that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm fine. What's in your mind? I know it was. I'm not stupid. Well, I'm 90%, 90%. I mean, the only thing I will say to you, man. I ain't saying anything. It's done now. No, I'm saying, look, look, listen to what Ashlyn said to you during the week, right? She said the only thing she had a bad week was because you were so negative. Yeah, I did, right? yeah, yeah. But so now I'm not. not so you ready? Not on it. It's done. Don't give Sorted a fuck. Done. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Don't on. give a fuck Move now, on. mate. Exactly, exactly. All right? And I mean All that for yourself. Be, it? Come on. I don't think anyone's gone there nominated not knowing that it could potentially be shown. Jack, remember my mentality, which I'll give you, you know, under the pressure you're under now, bearing in mind you are up. Just fucking enjoy yourself, mate. Just live it like you were living it in those first two weeks. People yeah, but like... I had a fucking horrendous reaction last week. Yeah, well, then you've got to make up for it. Yeah. Have you, at the end of the day, you were saved. It's 15 p.m. Sam, Jack and Chloe are in the bedroom. Are you OK? That was to the group and also you. Yes, thanks. Fine, thanks. Okay. okay. Fuck off. Jack, she has to nominate somebody. No, I don't fucking like the girl. She can fuck off. Oh, well, that's going to go down well. I don't care. Put it down well. She winds me up all the fucking time. She doesn't listen. I tried to talk to her yesterday. She doesn't listen. Well, I like her. I know you, you're entitled to, Chloe. You don't change anything. What's the fucking point? I've given up with that person, so that's just how I put it. Oh, I'm going to the pool. Mark is in the diary room talking about being nominated. These people that you say they don't really care about winning, but everything is what matters to them. They literally love it. They want that. They are more hungry than a pack of fucking sharks for this money. I think Nick feels like a bit of a dickhead because I asked him to point out one one time that I had I had picked or intimidated, 
Brian, I asked everybody. Name one time I did it. Not one of them could give me an answer. I think Harry is a great contender to win. Um, lots of different reasons. Do you know what? I just didn't see it before and I got it wrong. And you can look at it, as I said, I'm human too. I can make mistakes too. Um, do you know what? Even though her and Nick are seeing each other together or wherever they are, she literally stood there and goes back to me exactly and says, what did Mark actually say? What did Mark actually do to intimidate Brian? For my ex-arch nemesis to, to defend me, do you know what that answers my question? What the house is about? It's a popularity contest and they're all fucking falling apart now, aren't they? They followed a little fucking fake little popularity fucking little pricks and now they're gonna go, oh, what do we do now? Now poor Jack is literally one of the most loyalist of that little clique is now looking around at who fucking nominated me. You know what I mean? I feel fa I feel bad for him, I do. But I will say, you know, there's a lot of game players in this house and I hopefully the public will see that and fuck them out. Get the little pricks out because all they are is little pricks. Ten or two PM. Ashleen and Sam are bonding in the garden. This is me now, and I feel like I've not been able to be oh, the I true have me in, me, in here. Though. Yeah, you've brought out the best in me now. Just oh. now, I feel I'm so happy. I've got to be oh. a bit of me. This is That's, fucking me. Yeah. But there's just so much going on in the house, and I want to be respectful to other people. And one of my feedback and nominations was, sometimes you're a bit, and you're not putting other people's considerations. I just feel like, not that I've been shut down or my oh, confidence is, no. I just feel like, not even my self-esteem, but I just feel like I don't ever want to butt in or be like, this is oh the Sam my show, God, just in case dare. someone's like, do you know? Don't and that's how I, that's how I have like been that. feeling, especially feel like the that. feedback about you don't have an opinion or you've done, and I'm like one of the most boldest opinionated characters there is, but guess what? I'm never going to go out my way to hurt someone's feelings. It's Good not girl. in my nature. So how can I say that to someone I genuinely care about? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Isn't it so, weird? And that's just the situation I've been in. You can't fabricate Oh, hate. my God, I just got that off my chest. Yes! I feel fucking so yes. much better! Welcome to Ashley's yes. therapy couch. <laughs> Danny, Mark and Christian are talking about Ashleen. Um, may that your board? By the way. She seems to think so. She don't trust me. Oh, she agrees. I know her game. I know what she's doing. What? I know what she's doing. Don't even say you haven't kissed her. Don't even say, say you haven't. I swear on my dad's And why'd you go off the way she did Danny. Because she was fucked. And playing a game. Oh, she Trust me, watch when you come game, out. Have it? you held hands under the covers yet? No. Have you touched her fanny? You did with Sam. <laughs> no. Mate, shut up, you're a liar, you. I haven't touched the fanny. Has she touched you? No. Because you've hugged her. Yeah, have you, you spent oh. the night in bed, bro. Didn't do nothing. But it's both for You haven't had sex in weeks. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you Swear down. I got a stiffy, that Mate. was it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack has come to talk to Big Brother. Nominations, what an absolute disaster. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's just carnage, isn't it? It's just nothing but carnage. I have to now face the voting public. And I, I hope that they decide to keep me in the in the Big Brother house. I, I don't want I don't want to leave. I like it here. How do you feel about being nominated? It's infuriating, is what it is, Big Brother. It is infuriating. I've been me for like forty eight days or whatever we've been here. Forty seven days we've been here, right? Now, I don't think I'm going to win. However, I c I could maybe if I play around a bit. If I'm going to go out anyway, I might as well go out with a bang, doing something a bit fun. Why not? So I'm going to be watching everything, and if I see it, I'm going to call it. So Happy Jack will be there no matter what, and then Straight Talking Jack will come out when people wind me up. It's time to bring on, bring on the push now. Bring on the push. I love it here, it's so good. And maybe I haven't played the game as well as I should have done, because Big Brother is a game. I've, I've balls it up. Tomorrow at nine, the oldies with a need for speed. Life begins at 60 in new party pensioners on the loose.
But don't go changing and don't go touching anything metallic. It's the season three premiere of Under the Dome in just a moment. <laughs> 